is Divya Pandit, your tarot card reader, spiritual healer and life coach. So here I am reading for 2019 November Pisces. Pisces, let's see. Pisces look very, very happy as they are normally. Okay, so here I am with Pisces reading and uh, I feel that, uh, okay. So Pisces, you are getting a little stubborn in November. Okay, don't do that because Pisces are normally very easygoing people. Here somewhere you have kept one foot in the past. So somewhere your, uh, you know, um, experiences, past experiences, you still are holding on to. No matter how much you say, okay, no, no, I'm not thinking about the past, but you are. And also Pisces, I feel... Um, you still not, um, you know, you're still very closed on how you're going to perceive your life in the next few years. You need to open up. You really need to open up because you need a little bit of guidance because the past has troubled you so much that you are actually holding it very strongly within you. So in your business somewhere, I feel your work, your job, your whatever you're doing, Pisces, I feel there are there is a lot of generosity coming your way you're getting a lot of money here i feel somewhere pisces the first week is going to be full of legal work it could be dealing with a politician it could be dealing with somebody in a very high status okay and the second week is going to get you a lot of offers the first week you're actually going to uh, be receiving a lot of uh, uh, Connections, maybe you're, there'll be a lot of connections made. That's what I see. You could even meet a very big spiritual guru. It could be something like a person who is actually in uh, in a very high status. Okay, you're going to be meeting that person, and also in the second week, I feel you are going to get offers at work. There, uh, there is going to be a lot of stability in finances. Third week, I see a lot of traveling at work. A lot of traveling at work, somewhere you are going to go to actually, uh, you know, for your work, for your business. And the fourth week is going to be the best week of your life because that is going to actually give you, the sun is going to shine above your head and you're going to receive everything that you have asked for in your business, your work. So Pisces, good times are coming. Why are you still holding on to other experiences in your life which you are, you know, saw it in your past? Some way you are literally wanting to control everything. That is why I said you have one foot in the past because you feel that happened, it will happen now. So I am going to do what I want to. I am going to cut off everybody. That's not right. Because if you do that, you are going to have a lot of negativity coming towards your way. Because that state of mind will actually get you nowhere. You are wanting to cut off everybody out of ego, out of stubbornness out of your past experiences you are not it's going to be uh, like you might have a financial stress you might just you know um, uh, like how can I put it you might be into that victim space in your mind where I was victimized so I'm going to victimize everyone no that's not the right conduct especially when you are getting uh, you know a lot of good things coming your way and you are going to be in a position where uh, you will be a very happy person. It's exactly what I wanted and I'm getting. So when you actually get what you want, okay, in November Pisces, you cannot cut off people from your life. You cannot just take a sword in your hand and say, now I'm going to show. No, do not get in that revenge mode because that's going to be very, very harmful for you because that might take away all the good things that's coming your way. So be a better person and just let go of whatever has happened of the past. See, Pisces are normally very chill person. Pisces are normally very, very good people at heart. But because of their experience, sometimes you tend to close yourself. You tend to, you know, come up with that self-worth issue and that could be a problem. So at work, just be alert. Because you are coming up with something really amazing in November and November is going to be a very beautiful month for you for work. Just that all your state of mind and just need to work on that. Okay. So now I'm going to read for Pisces in relationship. Okay. 
Okay, Pisces in relationship, let's see. Pisces in relationship, I feel that the healing has started. Okay, whatever problems you've had in your relationship in the past, the healing has started and you're actually healing. You need to cleanse your aura, Pisces, because somewhere I feel because of your thoughts, feelings and emotions, your own thoughts, feelings and emotions, because I'm connecting with the, with the uh, reading I did two minutes back, your thoughts, feelings and emotions, and because you're still holding on to the past, your aura is damaged. So you need to clean and heal your aura somewhere, you know, take a salt water bath or, you know, just do some kind of meditation or just go and, you know, take a camphor oil bath, something and go and just do something that you always wanted to do. Like cleaning your aura also is, you know, can happen uh, while you're just doing uh, something like a kiddish thing, like just sitting on a swing or maybe just eating something that you like, like those things also clean your aura. So you need to do a lot of breathing. So do just get into some pranayam and, you know, just calm yourself down. And here I see a lot of strengthening bonds in your relationship, a lot of giving and receiving in your relationship, a lot of balance in your relationship. What else you want, Pisces? November is a fantastic month for you, work-wise and relationship-wise. You just need to believe in it because that is what you are not and you are just holding on to the past and getting into a very stubborn state of mind which I think will not do good to you because you might lose relationship otherwise. Okay, so now let's see what fairies have to say for you in November, Pisces. Birthday, so something happened on your birthday, did it? Okay, if something happened in your birthday, that is a message for you. You need to take care, only you need to believe in it. I'll remove one more card for you, Pisces. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. I think that's one of the wonderful cards. Wonderful, wonderful cards. So this birthday has shown up, maybe something will come up in your on your birthday in 2020 or something new and something wish or maybe the birthday that has passed away, something happened on your birthday, so that might be the answer to your question and also say hello to the new and see the same card has shown up as what I told you in the reading that you need to release your past because of your past you're getting very negative so just leave it let's go because you need to receive the good opportunities that is coming your way okay that's all Pisces see you in December the last month of 2019 and do subscribe to my channel do not forget because I'm going to be coming up with lots and lots of more videos more of magical videos okay so that's what everybody wants and uh, do subscribe do go and like my Facebook page do follow me on Instagram because I have spiritual tips by the Vya Pandit on Instagram also which are small little queries which you all always ask me so I'm been putting up one one minute videos there also and on my Facebook page also I keep sharing a lot of things so do call me and do message me do email me for personal paid appointments only at white light healing center with the er at gmail.com that's all for today goodbye god bless bye okay.